Greetings, everyone. Welcome to 2K Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Basketball. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And joining us on the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. It's the Chicago Bulls taking on the Utah Jams. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. We've got Oakley. Macy is out there with Jordan. Then there's Gerber. And it's Green in at the four spot. Now here's Malone. Now the pass to Stockton. Back to Malone. Hornacek outside. Six on the shot clock. Malone has doubled. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. The bruising power forward, Malone, a dominant offensive player between his nifty post moves and that soft mid-range. And both free throws good for Malone. Macy with it. Right side, Jordan. Out of bounds, Bulls ball as Chicago keeps possession. Outside, Gervin. Macy against Stockton. Gervin passes to Jordan. Five on the clock. Count it. And you can just see the extraordinary competitiveness. MJ staying laser focused after absorbing the contact. Here's Foster. Malone outside. Oats one up, and the layup is good. And it's all about the release when you shoot the floater. And here are the Bulls now. First quarter, about a minute and a half in. Green dishes to Jordan. Over Hornacek. Almost, but it rolls out. Listen, we know the mid-range game is in this guy's arsenal, but you wonder, should he have moved it just one pass more? Here's Malone, and it's Malone finishing it off. Oh, the D is at fault there. You can't let Malone get that type of position inside. Stocked in against Mason. It's Jordan on the wing. Rebounded by Malone. And here's Malone. He'll bring it up for Utah. Pass to Russell. Malone down low. Guarded by Jordan. And the jam by Carl Malone. That's what we call a power finish. There's no such thing as gentle for the big man. The Bulls off to a slow start. Six-point game. And Macy kicks to Green. Pass to Jordan. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. And not much else you can do. I mean, defensively, you try to make it hard on Jordan without fouling, but he's just too dialed in. Hornacek passes to Malone. Poked away and stolen by Jordan. Here's Gervin, and it's slammed in by Gervin. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Going right to the rim, which is where you want transition opportunities to end. Now here's Malone. He's got eight, and he finishes nicely on the layup. Malone's got ten points in the game. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag and, and where's the help defensively to me that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball these guys need to be talking to each other and it's good for two the yeah, high percentage look for Jordan it has every move you could ask for in the painted area also looking it over pass to Malone 
Great D that time from Green. Pressured that shot by getting a hand up just as good as a block. And he did it without fouling, and that's become an art, changing shots without making contact. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Jazz lead by two. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. What do you guys think about the Jazz here in this one? An impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. What terrific work at the offensive end. They have built some early momentum here. Chicago trailing here. So the Bulls five right now. They've got John Baxson. He's out there with Jordan. And it's Fields in at the center position. Now, here's Paxson. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on Malone. And he's the consummate professional. I mean, Paxson knows his role. Obviously, a knockdown shooter. But he gives great effort in everything he does on the floor. Chicago making a switch here. Washington's checked in. That one drops. He ties it up. And it's Utah's ball. Here's Malone. A rebound by Washington. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. No good from Paxson. Well, he was wide open. You wonder, did he overthink it? That's a missed opportunity. Malone. And the jam by Carl Malone. You've got to love his aggressiveness to finish inside. Well, his leaping ability gives him a great advantage. Now, here's Paxson. Outside Banks to the inside. And he banks in the layup. Jordan's got eight points. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. And the jam by Carl Malone. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. Paxson passes to Jordan. Six to shoot. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. He's got ten. Yeah, well, we think about the excitement that Jordan brings to the game, but, but what about the offensive fundamentals? The, the, the man is a perfectionist. And the basket by Malone. And, guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. And stolen by Stockton. Malone down low. Corzine's there. Yep, that one goes. Malone's got eight points here in this quarter. What I appreciate about Malone is, is he just understands his strengths and is incredible at playing to them. Here's Banks. Two points. That one goes. Boy, that's fast break basketball at its absolute best. Outstanding assist to finish it off. Out to the right wing. Russell passes to Malone. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. And the shot goes in. Malone's got 20 points. And this is something this guy takes pride in. Capitalizing on second chance opportunities. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Here. Charles Oakley, he's checked in for Washington. Green comes in for Corzine. Gervin's checked in for Jordan. Kyle Macy subbed in for Paxson. Here's Macy. Scoreless thus far. 11 left to play here in the second quarter. Green with a screen on Stockton. Shot clock at five. Gervin passes to Macy over Stockton. And it's Foster with the rebound. Jazz leading by four. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And that's the last guy you want to defend inside. Malone is just too good near the hoop. Jordan, he's checked in for the Bulls. That one is no good. 
Bulls trail by four. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. Malone looking around. 34 seconds left in the first half. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And so it's Gervin with it. He brings it up for Chicago. And there's the pass to Green. It's hauled in by Stockton. Here's the Jazz with the ball. Here's Malone. Add that basket to his impressive total. Brings him to 10 for 14. Considered one of the strongest players in the league, Malone doesn't get distracted by a little contact. Outside Jordan. Hornacek with the steal. And here's Malone outside. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. Carl Malone getting it done for the Utah Jazz. And of everything he's doing well, it's his scoring that you point to first. Already 22 points in this game. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. We're seeing a tremendous game so far from Carl Malone. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. One of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end. And boy, this young guy has done just that. Foster is out there with Malone. Then there's John Stockton. Then there's Hornacek. And it's Russell in at the three. That's the group for Jerry Sloan getting going here in the second half. Yeah, how about the purpose with which he's crashing the backboards right now? Some hard-earned second-chance points. Jordan the pass to Macy. Green with a screen on Stockton. Macy against Stockton. Green with a screen on Stockton. Shot clock at six. Here's Macy. It's rebounded by Malone. I'm sure if he had the chance to do that possession over again, he would not have taken the shot. Stockton outside. Malone is doubled. To the middle. Hornacek passes to Malone. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Michael Jordan. Really uh, the right play defensively if you can't block Force him to the line. Both good from the line that time. Bulls trail by eight. Jordan high post. He's got ten. The feed now to Gervin. Rebounded by the Jazz. Outside Malone. Utah getting another chance here. Takes it inside. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Malone's got six points in the quarter. And I like the intensity defensively, but Malone's still not shy about getting physical on the drive. Jordan can't get it to go. Jazz leading by 10. Malone in the post, defended by Oak, and they pick up two. Malone's got 30 points. 
big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. And was it really a long distance shooter in college? Jordan really worked on his range ever since being drafted. Now here's Malone. 30 points in the game. Banks checked in for Michael Jordan. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Bulls trail by nine. Here's Mason. Still scoreless. Fires at the elbow. That one drops for him. Looked like some confusion defensively that time. Left him wide open for a nice look on the jumper. Outside Russell. Green against Malone. And he lays it straight in. Malone's got 32 points. Well, he's been shooting it so well because he's been so active, moving and working to get high percentage shots. Left side, Banks. The 19-foot shot. And with that, the Jazz lead is cut to just seven on the basket from Gervin. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. Yet another bucket in close. That's how he's earning his points today. To the left wing. Shoots. Goes back up. It's deflected. It's stolen by Green. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Here's Macy. And the co and it looks like, yep, it's a coach's challenge on the personal foul. That triggers a replay review by the officials. And, and this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the original person. The previous play is under review. A lot easier to determine. Indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays, you really get a new appreciation for just the immense speed at which these players are moving at. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. The right call. And so the word is in. They've decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to reviewing it. They're double checking, and the game continues on. First one falls for him. And both free throws good for Macy. And here's Malone. He's got 34. Offline with his three. Jordan way outside. And that one released in time, but no good. Superb defense from Stockton. Good at just staying with shooters and making things difficult. And so it's Utah bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. We've got more in store for you right after this. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with his feet. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. And here's Malone. He'll bring it up for the Utah Jams. On the court for Chicago to start the fourth. They've got Michael Jordan. Corzine is out there with John Paxson. And it's Holton in at the point guard. 
Here's Holton. He's defended by Stockton. Hornacek against Paxson. Shorten wide open. That one falls coming off of Paxson's feed. Yeah, nice timing there on that catch and shoot. Jordan with such a musical rhythm to his game. Malone down low. Banks is there. He gets it in there. Malone's got 38 points. Well, this is what you're trying to do. Put the game away. And he hasn't forced much tonight. I love the efficiency he's giving to them. Here's Jordan. And it's sent back by Russell. Malone against Banks. Tries from the block. Again, the Jazz score. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Jazz. Uh, they've been active defensively, rotating well, and, and then also closing out on shots. It's resulted in a number of blocks. The other thing that jumps out about their performance tonight, the amount of steals really pressuring those ball handlers. And the Jazz with possession here. The Bulls getting their last shot to go. Yeah, the defender all over. And the first one drops. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Here. And he makes the first but misses the second. And the jam by Carl Malone. Letting the guy sneak by for a putback off a of free throw. That, that is inexcusable. Outside, Gervin. No good from outside. If they want to, they can milk the clock just a little bit here. Yeah, that's the best option. Here's Malone. With the second effort, and he sinks the layup. Malone's got 45 points. Well, this is what he does. Find ways to make his presence felt, then this time on the offensive glass. How about the hustle on display there? That kind of effort will earn respect from everyone. Now here's Malone following the miss by Michael Jordan over Oakley. And Foster kicks to Malone. Tries again. It's hauled in by Oakley. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. And they get it back. And that one is good. Jazz leading by 12. Here's Malone. Makes it off the glass. Malone's got 13 points now in the quarter. Uh, haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness about it. Jordan's shot is off. After the strong first half, this guy has not been the same. And largely a no-show right here. From close range, Green with the rebound. And so here is Chicago. Here's Jordan. Here's Oakley. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. And no matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball inside. Outside, Malone. From deep. The shot misses. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Here's Jordan. Jordan can't get that one to fall. Outside, Malone. Back to Russell. Passes it to Malone. Fires the three. Rebound by the Bulls. Gervin passes to Jordan. Good, and the assist goes to Gervin. How about the assist coming off the deck? What a pretty bounce pass. And so it's Utah easily grabbing the win. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. Uh, I think they built off that edge of being here and, and play with just a little more confidence than their opponent. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now, our New Balance Player of the Game, Carl Malone.